I was the first one to find her. I drove over, didn't see any lights on, and thought, oh, she's still, she's still at work. I walked up the stairs to go in the house. The door was unlocked. I went in. Light was on in the bathroom. I could hear the water running. I knocked, I went in, and she was underneath the water. So then I reached down and I grabbed her arm, thinking she might have just fallen. I pulled her up out of the water, and she was stiff. So I knew she was dead. That's when I went for the phone to call 911. I said, my girlfriend's dead in the tub. I need an ambulance. They told me to turn off the water and get her out of the tub. I said, she's already dead. So I just went in, turned off the water. At the same time, I noticed the photo album in the, in the tub with her, grabbed that out, put it on the side. And then I ran to the front door to turn on the light so that they would be able to see the house number when they came up the block. I came into the kitchen. That's when I noticed the four blood stains here along the floor. One of them looked like it had a print in it, a shoe print or something in it. That's when I went into the bedroom. I turned the light on in the bedroom. Then I noticed the comforter all pushed to one side of the bed. The lamp from that bed stand was pulled over onto the bed all the way to the middle. This bed stand was all, everything was knocked off the bed stand and there were some blood stains on the bed and one of the pillows. Then I went to wait for the police to come.